If you were to inspect the plants in a garden, you might notice that some of them don't look as healthy as they should. You may see areas of discoloration, or you may see areas where they have black patches all over the leaves. Now sometimes this can be a sign that the plant is suffering from a disease, and this could perhaps be a, a bacterial, a viral or a fungal disease. Or it could be that the plant is lacking in a certain mineral. In this video we're going to look at some key minerals that plants need in order to remain healthy and how they might grow if they are lacking in certain minerals. Plants absorb mineral ions through their roots. Mineral ions are absorbed by the root hair cells and there's a picture of what one looks like on the right hand side there and the roots would absolutely be covered in these root hair cells. The mineral ions, along with water that is also absorbed by the root hair cells, travel around the plant in the xylem tubes. If plants don't have enough minerals, they are said to have a mineral deficiency and their growth will be affected. So let's look at some key minerals. First off, we'll look at nitrates. Nitrates are needed for growth because nitrates are used to make proteins and these are needed for plant growth. Plants with a nitrate deficiency will show stunted growth. So of the two plants there, the one on the left is not growing properly, it's much shorter than it should be. So that's why we describe that as having stunted growth. So it could be that that plant is suffering from a nitrate deficiency. Another important group of minerals are phosphates. These are needed for healthy roots. Plants with a phosphate deficiency will have poor root growth and this will affect the growth of the plant, again causing stunted growth. Potassium is needed for healthy leaves and flowers. Plants with a potassium deficiency have yellow leaves with dead patches. The plants won't be able to photosynthesize as much this also will affect plant growth. And finally, magnesium. Magnesium is used for making chlorophyll. Plants with a magnesium deficiency have leaves that turn yellow. Magnesium is needed to make chlorophyll, which is the green pigment that absorbs sunlight for photosynthesis. The plants won't be able to photosynthesize as much and this will also affect plant growth. So nature has its own way of recycling minerals back into the soil. Decomposers, including bacteria and fungi, break down dead matter and return the minerals back to the soil. In agriculture, crops are harvested, meaning that the natural cycle of death and decay doesn't occur. Therefore, farmers spray their soil with chemicals called fertilisers to replace the minerals in the soil. NPK is a fertiliser that is commonly used by farmers. It contains nitrogen, which is the N, phosphorus, which is the P, and potassium, which is the K. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.